Can we just first talk about the makeup and how long that took to put on the dead, Wes's dead makeup? Hours. Four. Four hours. It's a long time. What was it like to see in person? Were you? Well, all you know what? The first. I'm laughing because when I first saw the reveal for me in the uh, in the medical examiner's room, I didn't have my contacts in, <laughs> so I really I couldn't freaking see what I was like. It's like, yeah, that's Wes, but uh, what's all the fuss about? And then later, I, I went to Vito Village and looked at the playback. And said, Holy shit! <laughs> that's why. Uh, but when on the scene, I was like, it's just you know, like smooth chocolate, smooth <laughs> caramel. All right. Just some same yeah, complexion yeah, as ever. Sexy right? caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, why don't you talk a little bit about some of the flashbacks that we're gonna get? What, what sort of things are we gonna get to find out? I'm, I'm curious what you told the police mm. and what you heard him tell the police outside. What did you tell? I mean, to be honest. I'm curious too. We're sort of coming towards the end of the season, but we've still got a bit to go and sort of piecing together those moments that comes in sort of dribs and drabs episode to episode. So mm -hmm. um, it's been exciting piecing it together. I mean, we get to see basically what Wes does between the moment where he leaves the police station and he ends up dead on the dead on the on that gurney. So not like, yes, on the gurney, and then later on the autopsy table. So. Um, that's kind of mostly his story in the second half of the season, tying together those loose threads as the other characters themselves try and find out but what's it's happening. it's really, the complexities are beautiful as they're, it's almost symphonic. I was listening to, uh, I think it was Beethoven's, uh, I mean, Mozart's uh, Symphony Number no. 40. Yes, On the drive were. over. Yes, you were. 17 minutes of glory. Goodness. Strings, percussions. Is that one of your favorites? I, I had never known it was Symphony Number no. 40. Wow. But like in that way, in that same vein, mm -hmm. Pete Nowak and his writers created that kind of reveal, layered upon layers upon layers.